With the recent release of Delta and RetroArch on mobile phones, I thought it would be a good time to talk about free cancelled Nintendo DS games that you can play today on those apps, on a computer or on actual hardware if you have an R4 card for example. First up is Crash Landed. In 2009 Crash Landed was secretly being worked on for the home consoles. The game was ultimately cancelled in the end, but before that happened the company Radical Entertainment was accepting pitches for a DS version of the game. One such pitch was by WayForward, the people behind Shantan and that's the game you're seeing right now. A two level demo is playable and what is here is actually quite fun. The first level will have you platforming and collecting Wampa fruit in some side scrolling 3D environments while taking down some enemies. I also found out you can just continuously spin by spamming the attack button meaning it's impossible to die which is quite funny to see. The second level is a little bit more challenging with you trying to run away from the closing wall while dodging enemies and spikes littered around. It has a perspective change with you running towards the screen instead across it sideways. The game is actually a recent release with it being bought and dumped online this year and can be some decent fun that you can complete in under 10 minutes. Perdition is a pretty darn impressive looking Nintendo DS game. It's a third person shooter where you're tasked with exploring an underwater laboratory while you shoot down halls of the undead, as well as some freakish monsters. You could play this game alone or with a friend in co-op or technically versus as friendly fire is turned on. This prototype is only one level long, but it's enough to get a good feel of what this game could have been like. There's three different weapons to choose from, a pistol, assault rifle and a strange mutated arm for melee attacks. Perdition was being developed by Velvet Games and it is unknown why this game was shelved and never completed. You may be looking at this and wondering why you'd want to play a table hockey tech demo for the DS. Well what is interesting about this game is that it was shown off at E3 and was being made by Nintendo. While it is very basic, you can still see the Nintendo charm in it. The demo would be lost to time if it wasn't for a person by the name of Davar, who brought a laptop to the E3 show floor and captured the demo's wireless packets to obtain the demo. The game can be beaten like 3 minutes and was a decent showing of what the Nintendo's touchscreen could do back in the day. Out of these three games, which one are you liking the look of the most? Let me know in the comments down below. This is my first video dedicated to the release of RetroArch and Delta on mobile phones. For more interesting videos in the future, like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.